So it feels like I've been waiting way too long for parts to arrive. I still don't have an update on the steel from Alec. All my Kydex stuff has been like way overdue. My bearings for my folding knife. It's like there's no postal, so it's like, it's like nothing's coming in. So I'm gonna head to town and see if I just haven't got the right notifications for it. I don't know. I also have to take the garbage to the dump, so. But man, I really, I really wanna get my parts. I got notes in the mail. There's a package at the post office. I'm not sure if this is what I want, but I'm really hoping so. Also, there's like so much construction going on in this town right now. I've got to park like a block away and then walk through a back alley just to get the post office. It's like a little package in the mail. I'm very curious about what this is. Wow. So Grady, so Grady from Shady Grady EDC is a maker and uh, he says that he really, really appreciates my YouTube channel and the content. And as a way to say thank you, he made me uh, something uh, this this is gonna be amazing any guesses what do you think this is look at this pen that he made me a custom handmade pen he turned this whole thing down he made this material look at that 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 is incredible Wow. Grady, I can't say thank you enough. I, wow. Absolutely humbled by this gift. Thank you so much. Check them out on Instagram as well. All right, so I've got a bunch of different knives to work on today. No, no real projects, no individual builds. Still waiting on the steel, still waiting on kydex and bearings, but I'm gonna keep plugging away at some other knife orders. And also, there's a few knives, a couple, that I'm actually gonna be able to get done for the website. I've kind of thrown them in with other batches. So hopefully we can get some of that stuff done and, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. For now, for a lot of the grinding shots, I think I'm gonna have to switch up to the old GoPro. Using this camera, like there's so much dust inside the lens, and uh, when I kind of get these really tight shots for grinding, I'm worried that in a few months this camera will completely stop working. Even right now, the autofocus is having such a hard time. This little guy struggles because of all the dust that's inside the lens. I wish I could get this camera nice and tight because I love the picture quality of it, but I just, I can't keep buying new cameras, so we're just gonna, uh, Schemes a GoPro for now. So 
I'm doing a little run of these Pocket Pal 2 knives. For some reason, I just wanted to hand sand, and it's, it's, it's been a long time since I've ever wanted to hand sand anything, but we've been having the old hand sand party. Got one of them in some ferric chloride. It's kind of fun sometimes when you're doing like a whole batch of knives. Obviously, it's the most efficient way to make knives. You do a whole bunch at once, but it's kind of fun to change them up. Like, you know, some of them I'll do like a flat grind, then I'll do a hollow grind, then I'll add jimping on some, not on others, just to kind of keep them all different. I find it so boring to do like all of the exact same blade. Anyways, we got this little guy right here, and I'm going to do a acid etched bevels. So I'm going to actually polish the rest of it. We'll just let that sit for a little longer. I think that might be kind of an interesting look. I, uh, I need a coffee. All right, so I've got one of these little knives glued up. Glue's dry now, and I'm gonna go ahead and grind this one out right now. Before the day's done, I've got two more of these little blades I would like to get uh, ground out. Also, I've been doing a whole bunch of Kydex today. It's been a fairly productive day. Okay, so I just got this little blade finished up here. Uh, this is a knife design I call the Pocket Pal. Pocket Pal 2, sorry. Just a really nice small blade. This one has thicker scales than I usually put on it, and I kind of tapered them down. And it kind of looks like a carrot. You see that? It's like the carrot knife. Uh, anyways, it's really cool. Nice little two finger purchase right here, and then your index finger. So it's just a really comfortable little knife. Smaller blade, but still useful, and I really like these knives. Haven't made any of these for a long time, and actually, I've got a couple. Well, this one, and then a couple others, and these actually are, hopefully, will make it to the website. Uh, not many of my knives make it to my website. The reason is that most of the work I do is custom stuff, like ordered stuff, and so very, very rarely do I get knives on my website. It's kind of exciting to actually maybe have some inventory now. Um, can I rant for a moment, please? I gotta get comfortable for this one. I, I wasn't sure whether I was gonna do this or not, but I, I'm gonna do it. Theft is one crime that just makes me live it. I, I know there's a lot worse crimes out there than theft, but theft is the one that just makes me go, like, you know, someone works for something, you work for something, I work for something. We, we do the work, we acquire it properly, and it's our possession, we own this thing. And then some idiot, some kleptomaniac thinks they have a right to just take it away? <laughs> I, I, I can't stand it. I cannot stand theft. Recently, some of my videos have been stolen, both on Facebook as well as on YouTube. Huge thank you to you guys, some of these viewers that have tipped me off. I, I appreciate that, like you have no idea because I wouldn't know otherwise and you guys are letting me know. That is so cool of you, so thank you, thank you for that. There's this Facebook group and uh, it's called Knife Levers, or it's like at Knife Maniacs and these guys are complete jerks. Just idiots, just a bunch of freaking thieves. If there's a knife maker on YouTube and you watch their videos, chances are this stupid Facebook page has stolen their video and put it onto their page. Now, there is a way that they could do it. They could kind of embed it through YouTube so that every time it's watched on their page, that view counts to the creator of the content. So the person who actually did the work, actually worked, sweat, blood, tears, made that content that's interesting enough to watch, they get credit for it. But oh no, these knife maniacs, these clown donkeys, they say, oh, I'm just gonna put it on here. And they had a few of my videos on there and now I told them, I said, guys, you take this down. You're not entitled to use this. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, bull. They took some of those down and now what they've done is come back and they'll put other ones of mine up, but then they'll say, check out Simple Little Life on YouTube, but they still will not embed the video through YouTube so that every time that's watched, the view doesn't come to my channel. There's one of my knife videos that was on there that had 70,000 views. That's pretty good. That's 70,000 views that I do not get. And for whatever fraction of money that is, uh, that would be paid from 70,000 views on YouTube, all of that is mine because I made that content. I created that. And for these idiots just to take that and steal it and put on their page, Oh, it just makes my blood boil. You know what the most pathetic part is? That I've got some Facebook friends that like this page, and that really cheeses me off. I kind of feel like saying, really? Really? Like... Ah. There's also another YouTube channel that had one of my videos. This one cracked me up. Uh, the meat and cheese knife build video that I did. They took this thing and basically they put like a Russian title over it and then they put music over the whole thing and put it up on their YouTube channel. <laughs> so like... Actually, I might link to that because I've got that monetized now, so every time it's watched on their channel, I get paid for it. And you know why? Because I made the content! Freaking thieves! <laughs> it also got me thinking to video styles. Now, any video of mine that's ever been pillaged, like, like stolen, wrongfully stolen from me, is a video where there's 
you know, there might be a voiceover, they usually take that out, but a video that's just shot of me working at a complete build in one video, those videos get jacked all the time, all day long. The one thing I was thinking, the benefit to these vlog style builds is that nobody steals them. Because if I've got a two or three or four part build series and I'm talking and there's a bunch of other stuff in there, it's hard for them to take that content as their own. And what they really want to share, they want to just steal something that's a start to finish build. Like if I did this knife start to finish build, I'm pretty sure I'd look on YouTube, look on Facebook and find these clown donkeys stealing this content. That is so, so frustrating. And you know, uh, without getting into the money of it and stuff, like. YouTube is a platform that uh, creators can monetize their videos and they can get paid for some stuff and, and that's fair. I mean, I think it's a totally fair platform. There's ups and downs. There's a time when there's all kinds of money to be made on YouTube. Uh, there's times when there's like nothing to be made on YouTube and you know, there's ebbs and flows like everything in life. But right now things aren't too bad. I mean, it's coming up to Christmas time. This is when all the advertising dollars are spent and so it, it's okay. Having said that, I would make way more money if I never made videos and took the time that I put into videos just to making knives to sell. I'm telling you, like making videos is a huge time commitment. It is a lot of work. I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong in any way, shape or form. I really enjoy it, but unless you're a big time YouTuber, there's not a whole lot of money in it. So anyways, I just, I just had to get that out because it's been driving me insane and I'm just like, Ugh. Anyways, uh, thank you guys, I really do appreciate it. And if you would continue to tip me off every time that you find somebody that has stolen one of my videos, one of my videos is being shared. Now, it's one thing, like I said, these Facebook groups, they could take this and embed it through YouTube so that it would come up on their page, it would show up in their feed just like the videos do now. But when you click play, that play is on my channel, not some thief's channel. Now, there are people talking in the future that Facebook might be monetized soon, uh, including the videos. When that happens, all these kleptomaniac sites, uh, they might have some real issues because now, uh, like right now, there's no money. They don't make money from playing my video on their channel. They just get all these whatever, thousands of followers. Um, but, the, but the thing I just don't understand is why not Instead of just saying, check out uh, Simple Little Life on YouTube, check out Jimmy Durist on YouTube, why don't you just play it through YouTube? That is intentionally, this page intentionally takes money away from the people that make the content that they're so proud and so excited to share. You know what, these stupid Facebook pages that steal other people's content and play it, they're unskilled, they're incompetent, they're stupid, they don't have the skills, you know what, they're jealous, they can't make anything for themselves so they have to steal other people's stuff and show it. You guys are disgusting, you guys are pathetic. You guys, I feel bad for you. Because if I was you, I would know for sure my life completely, completely sucked. Not only is that the end of the rant, that is also the end of the vlog. But just had supper and I'm uh, gonna go play with the kids right now, play some catch. And then once they're in bed, I'm gonna come back out here, get a little bit more work done tonight. But uh, I think I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you so much, Grady, for that pen. That was incredible. Just absolutely humbling to receive a gift like that from you. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for letting me rant. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, you can click this little circle right here to do so. And you can also watch a couple of these videos here to keep you entertained. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,